When I think of fashion, I think of drag queens. Follow me as I interview some of your favorite queens as they model their fashions and show me what makes them iconic. Hello, darlings. It's me, Miss Darian Lake from season six of RuPaul's Drag Race. Welcome to my DragCon booth. It's a $5 grab bag. Stick your hand in and whatever you get for $5, it's yours. <laughs> you can see me at New York DragCon, September 6th, 7th, and 8th. Can you believe it? Put it on your calendar or write it on your hand. She's not toxic, but she will drive you crazy. Derek Barry as Britney Spears. Yay. It's Derek, bitch. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Oh my God, I'm so excited you're I here. I am so excited. You have brought for us basically a trip down memory lane decade to decade. Yeah, we are 20 years into Britney's career. So I wanted to kind of take you on a ride, Britney, through her own eras. I love going Why on not? a ride. Yeah. Especially with the taste of your lips, I'm on a ride. I don't know. <laughs> Something like Something that. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. You started doing Britney about 15 years ago, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. I mean, it started with Baby One More Time. That's the first thing that drew me to her, seeing the video. She was a gymnast, a dancer, a singer. I had never seen anybody do that before. I was living in North Hollywood, and uh, at the time, my girlfriend. She had a cousin that was living with us um, going to makeup school and Halloween was coming up and I was like, hey, I've been told I look like Britney before. Do you think you can turn me into Britney? My roommate, my girlfriend, her cousin, my friend from high school, everyone was freaking out like, oh my God, you look just like her. So I went out the next night on Santa Monica Boulevard because it's what you do on Halloween. Of course. When you're straight. Right. And uh, with your girlfriend. With your girlfriend. It's every little straight boy's dream. <laughs> And I thought, wow, I've never had this much attention. And I was living in LA, going to school at Northridge, working for Universal Studios, auditioning for everything, doing extra work. So I was trying to find my in, and I feel like I found it with this character. What do you think the key is to becoming Britney? Definitely the hair. She's known for hair flips. A hairography, I feel like she invented it. She fight me if you disagree. <laughs> oh no, and I'll fight with you. Yes, I agree. We will band together. She has the control army. of every strand of yes. her hair. How did you kind of learn to do the hair movements? Uh, well, this is back when VCRs existed. Uh, before <laughs> DVD players, you used to have to rewind <laughs> yeah. and then rewind again. I would watch her eight count by eight count. And so I would learn everything. And I just loved that even like little things, like those little tosses and her eyes and every little nuance would go with the feeling of the song or the music mm. or the choreography. So just watching her over and over. Do you make your own costumes or do you have somebody make them for you? Something like this one, the Oops outfit, that's from Chad Michaels. I wore it on Snatch Game wow. in Drag Race. It's just a staple Britney look. So the slave outfit is something, my partner Nick San Pedro painted the shorts. The shorts were designed by a costume designer that actually made the whole Thing. I embellish everything with the crystals. It's got the armband and the little attach a skirt kind of veils. This is from the VMAs 2001 with the snake. And she was in a cage with a tiger. So for season eight of RuPaul's Drag Race, you came on as Britney. Yeah. It's Derek, bitch. I wanted to walk in just in case I got eliminated on the first episode. You never know. And if I didn't make it to Snatch Game, I was like, Fuck it, I'm walking in as Britney, bitch. And so Marco Marco designed this for me and we went with the colored crystals Love instead it. of just gold and silver because I wanted it to kind of be like a pride uh, nod oh, and I love that. include all the colors. And so I thought, why not make it a little more flashy? What was the reaction to you from the other queens as soon as you walked in? A lot of positive reinforcements on the first episode. And then you get to the second and they're like, why is Britney still here? <laughs> what are you gonna put on for us? Oh, I'm putting on this because I know that you love fashion. Love so it. this is the In The Zone era and I'll be back. I love it. Let's twirl into your next look. Woo! Category is In The Zone. Ooh. You wanna get in the zone? Yes. The jacket is Balenciaga. Gorgeous. The pants are virgin only. And it's what she wore in the booklet for the album In The Zone. Like we talked about separates, this is gonna look so good with anything. 
The pants look so good with just a crop top. Yeah. Like even the the little dragonfly top. It just looks good with no matter what you're wearing. You found the pants on. The pants on eBay. Wow. And the jacket. That's a good find. I know. The jacket's a collector's item. I'll never you get rid never of it. Never get rid of it. I know. Never. And you have I have the men's the version. The men's version. Believe it or not. I thought you would have the women's. Can you imagine? Why not the crop? I do have to say it's a little oversized. Oh. It's like two almost like two sizes too big, but I needed to own. You had to own I it. I had to own this. Yeah. yeah. You had to get but in the, the bomb, but the crop is like kind of more my vibe. Well, this way you're still warm, but yeah. you're a little cool in the midsection. <laughs> exactly. You know, and what a midsection it is. Well, when you do 500 sit-ups a day, it better look good. Is that what it is? I used to at one time do 1000 a day. I know, overachiever. Wow. I don't know why, but Brittany did it. So I'm like, okay, well that's how she looks like that. So I guess I'll do a thousand. Walk me through the day that you found out that Britney Spears joined Instagram. Because I remember the day that I discovered her on Instagram and I was like, if you are friends with me and you're not following Britney Spears, I'm unfollowing Cut off. you. Yeah. Done. You've done her runway videos. I love which the hallway are literally fashion shows. My favorite. They're so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. And once again, nobody does that stuff. Uh-uh. So Britney, because when you have a body like that, it wants to be shown off. This look is obviously iconic. So for you, it's about the whole overall yeah. 360 experience. As an impersonator, it's so important to pay attention to the details. Right. I mean, to have a replica is amazing. Yeah. So to wear Balenciaga feels incredible because you know, yeah that it's what she was shooting in. This is one that I wanted when I started in 2003. So good. And so to have it is just... Goals. I love it. Have you ever been face to face with Britney? Many times. Uh, the first time I wore kind of a version of the slave outfit that was my Halloween outfit in 03, we slept outside to get tickets to see her on The Tonight Show. The news came because people had tents set up. So we're sleeping outside, the news is filming us. Everyone's lined up and I'm walking down the, the line and I'm like, I'm not a girl. <laughs> and then they're like, well, what <laughs> is happening? But it was all Britney fans, so how fun That's so to awesome. be there with fellow fans. Do they just go wild when they see you? When I first started, if I was out dressed as Britney, people would stop and take pictures with me and think I was her. Um, so this one, I think I have to get into because it's 10 years of circus. Let's twirl. Let's twirl. Woo! Category is, this is the greatest show. Did someone say they're ready for a circus <gasps> party? Whoa. Yes. Wow. I just love this look. I think that from the hat with the feather down to the heels with the grommets and eyelets and laces and stones and I love stoning heels because it's the one time where you turn around and a lot of times people forget about the back of the costumes. Right. And so I wanted the B to be really crazy stoned and I wanted the heels done. If you're doing a show in the round, you got people watching you from every angle. Every angle. And it's really important to add the Vegas glitz and glam to every look. So tell me about stoning these boots. You have to punch out each hole and then you have to put the eyelets in or wait you vomits. had to punch the yes. holes into these yes every single time you see one of these gold eyelets or how vomits, do you do that you cut it out first with a kind of leather hole punch it's a little cylinder a metal cylinder and then you have to hit it with a hammer or a mallet so that is what opens it up then you have to put the eyelet or grommet on both sides and then pound that in. I didn't think about how long it was gonna take. I worked on these for two straight days. And You're a then cobbler. I am a cobbler. Nobody knows that word. <laughs> you guys. I love that word. I say cobbler and they're like, what's that, grandpa? And no, I'm like, you... um, it's a shoe repair man. I'm yeah. sorry that cobbler is the real word. Yeah, you're a cobbler. Oh, thank you. You're I've welcome. always wanted to be called We're that. We're connected. <laughs> so you made the boots yourself, but the actual The jacket uh, was designed by my costume designer in Vegas. Her name was Judy Williams. Uh, she passed away. Oh. It's one of these costumes that for me is the most well-made thing I've ever had it's done. It's beautiful. The attention to detail, I mean, the 
everything on here. Yeah, it's... This is magnets. It's all lined with gold lining. It's beautiful. The zipper down the front. I feel like we, we need to open it up and see it. Let's see it. Right? Should yeah. we? Is it Let's, iconic? Can we do... Yes, oh. that would be iconic. Are we gonna get a reveal? Yes. <gasps> Are you ready? Yes. That was a quick change. <gasps> My goodness. Yay. In an instant. It was just designed like hers. So it opens up, unzips. It's all lined with gold. Oh, wow. And the magnets are inside in casings. So it doesn't show because it's one of those wow. things that you don't want to give away. Of how course. fast and easy it can come off. And it's so beautifully made. The stitching, everything. Yeah. It's incredible. I wore this every night in Vegas. Six nights a week. I toured the world with it. Wow. So it's one of those things that I'll always have. These are just yakky uh, human hair extensions. Oh, that, really? Uh, we sewed onto little oh, that's hilarious. shoulder pieces. I did all the stones. Uh, this is Joan Quill Swarovski. I'm kind of a Swarovski snob. As you should be. Yes, looking for endorsement deals. <laughs> um, but nothing shines like that. This one, same thing. This is a Marciano bra that I loved and I just put the extra crystals on it. I did the little design down here for BS and then I realized that that's also bullshit. But I was like, it's really Britney Spears. It goes. Yes. Right? And then this I just patterned out so it looks good. Like I said, when you're walking away, it's the last impression you're going to leave the audience. Right. It may be the last shot that they see of you. The gloves, the details in the, in the upper arm to hide the biceps. You know, oh. Because I work out. I don't obviously. know if you've noticed. Yeah, I yeah. can tell. So what's the next phase the next we're going to go era into? is her femme fatale era. Ooh. And this is so funny because when you see it, it's like, what is this? Yeah, it's like a puzzle. Where is this going? But I have to actually step into this because it doesn't have any hooks. And it's all just done with elastic and the jumbo four-way stretch fabric. Wow. And so it really has so much give. So how long does it take you to stone something like this? This probably took me about a week. I would work on it on and off though. I can't do this for eight full hours. Oh my God, I'm so happy we got a reveal. There's yes. nothing more iconic. Brittany, don't you think? You have to. Always. Everything needs a reveal. Just like a hair whip and a reveal and I'm done. That's it. I don't need anything else. I've based my career off that. <laughs> off taking my clothes off on stage for money. <gasps> Perfect. Speaking of. Let's do it. Let's do it. Take them off, baby. Woo! Category is, you better work, bitch. You better work like this. <laughs> so this is the work bitch music video look. Like I said, it's great to find the pieces that look the most like it and then adorn them. So paint, crystals, chains, whips. Whatever it takes. Whips and chains excite oh. me. Oh, something like this. <gasps> Wow. So I couldn't get through uh, TSA security with this because they said it was a weapon. No. I'm not kidding. So walk me through each individual piece because every piece on this that makes up this outfit has been customized yeah. somehow. Well, the shorts, we found a, a cool crop version. And so he just will go through and he'll add the paint to everywhere in different colors. There's white, silver, gold, kind of a mixture on here. You have to sparkle. And look, I'm a car wash. Ah! It will scratch that bitch up. <laughs> um, and then the bra, found it, painted it black. And then I just used elastic to make this piece up here into a choker with little rings, things like that. This was the most intricate piece because it's all connected and you're able to tighten it and loosen it. Gotcha. And I studied the like picture like crazy to get it right. What is the next big reveal for you as Britney? You know, one thing I never get to do is I never get to be elegant Britney. Every tour she gives a little snippet where she has a gown and it's beautiful. And because that doesn't really work in a club. Right. You know, like look at me in my beautiful yeah, gown. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to make it a tear away. Right, you know? right. So what's next for you? What's coming up? I want to take these costumes, 20 years of Britney, and I want to take it on the road. I want to do a Britney the Hits show. Wow. And I, I want to show people why she's iconic. And why she's what? Iconic. Huh? Iconic? Huh? 